I'm Ann Chenoweth and welcome to my studio. We're out here in historic King and Queen County. The piece that I'm giving to the auction is this one right here. It's called Horse Vessel. You can see that there are horses all over it. Uh, this one underneath is the cognate of that print and I'll talk about how that was done. But first I'll talk about my interest in horses and in Greek things and how I put them together. I've done a lot of work with horses because horses, in addition to art, are my passion. Uh, so horses have appeared in various ways. Um, many times they're abstracted, sometimes they're realistic, but placed into a fictional situation. Uh, in this case, this is part of a series of Greek vases. We took a trip to Greece and I was very influenced by the architectural finds that we saw in museums and in architectural digs. In many of my pieces, I'm starting with the Minoan age and working forward to uh, when the uh, Romans came in. So there's different periods in each of these pieces. So it's kind of like a fractured uh, reality. I started out with a painting that was done for a friend of mine who's married to an ancient art Greek art historian, and it's fractured pieces of various vessels that have been put back together to make a fictional vase. Uh, so I took that idea with these and some of the other ones of combining realism with abstraction, which is something that I'm very interested in. This print, The Horse Vessel, it's done with a linoleum block that was carved. I did the drawing first and traced that onto the linoleum. Used a tool to cut out all the spaces that show up as white. This plate was printed in a variety of different colors. Traditionally, prints are made in black on white paper. In this case, the white of the paper is where the carved block is. I printed it several times. When I was doing this, I had images for all these little segments, but I wanted to leave part of it blank. And the reason for doing that is so that I could make each print unique by adding other things to it. So this one is printed with a stencil that blocks out the black ink. And that stencil would be, the plate would be inked up, the stencil would be put on so that the, when the paper's put onto it, it shows up as white. This is the plate printed in brown ink, like this one. This is brown ink with some black added to it. And you can see the top part here has been painted into the blank part that's on the plate. And what I can also do is to add watercolor pieces on separate pieces of paper um, wherever I want to. So. This piece is ongoing and I could leave it as it is, which I think could be quite handsome, or I could continue the watercolor so that it gets more complicated, like this one down here. So the one that's going to art space, this one, is the first printing with blackish brown ink with watercolor added. This one is the cognate the print was pulled right after this one was. I used my etching press to pull them so they get a nice, even image. 